One of two brothers who say they helped Smollett stage a fake hate crime testified in court this afternoon. Adobe Jan's Mike Lowe is covering the trial for us. Joins us now with the very latest. Mike. Rand Micah, good evening to both of you. In many ways, the prosecution's case, the strength of it rests on the shoulders of two bodybuilders, brothers who prosecutors say helped orchestrate and carry out this hoax attack at the request of Jesse Smollett himself. One of those brothers is still testifying right now. Abim Bola, known as Bola Osandiro, walked into the Layton County Criminal Court building Wednesday. As a Hollywood actor, he's an extra, but in court today, he was the star witness. He's one of the two bodybuilding brothers at the center of the Jussie Smollett case. Prosecutors say the Osandiros helped carry out Smollett's alleged phony hate crime and also spent significant time with the actor as he planned the attack. Smollett's defense attorney sought to portray the Osandiros as anti-gay criminals, pointing to evidence of guns and cocaine that the Chicago police discovered in their apartment. In a key exchange, prosecutor Dan Webb tried to weaken that argument as Osandiro testified that he and Smollett were, quote, good friends. He said he regularly spent time hanging out with the actor, smoking marijuana, and listening to music. He said he routinely went to nightclubs, including the Boys Town bathhouse Steamworks, with Smollett. Special prosecutor Dan Webb asked him, was Mr. Smollett openly gay? Ocean Dyro answered, yes. Are you gay? No. Did that in any way interfere with the friendship you developed with him? No. Smollett's defense had argued that a check for $3,500 from the actor to the brothers was for personal training, not payment for carrying out the hoax attack. But today, Ocean Dyro testified that he had been helping the actor with a diet and exercise plan for free because they were friends, and Smollett always picked up the tab for drinks and paid for drugs. Did you ever say anything that would indicate you would charge him for the meal and exercise plan? No. Earlier in the day, Chicago Police Detective Kimberly Murray, the fourth CPD officer to take the witness stand, testified that Smollett refused to give investigators his cell phone, medical records, and a DNA sample as they had requested to aid their investigation. Today on News Nation's Morning in America program, Smollett's brother defended the embattled actor, saying his career was flourishing at the time of the attack and there was no need to stage a hoax hate crime to boost his profile. He was literally on the up and up on his career. He had um, Broadway shows planned. He had two movies in the, in the mix. Jojo Smollett asked the public for patience as the evidence is presented in court. I'm just asking for everyone, everyone, to remember that in this nation, we are innocent till proven guilty, all right? And the presumption of innocence is something that is key and fundamental to our liberty. My brother is no different. And Smollett is charged with fourth degree felony, uh, excuse me, fourth degree felony disorderly conduct. If convicted, he would face three years in prison, but experts tell WGN News that that is highly unlikely. If he were to be convicted in this case, it is more likely he would face a combination of uh, probation, a fine, and some sort of community service. Reporting live tonight at the Cook County Courthouse, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Mike, any idea when the other Osendiro brother may speak or if he'll speak at all? Uh, it's likely that he'll be called to the stand tomorrow. Uh, we may uh, finish up here tonight. The, this may go another couple of hours here tonight with cross-examination uh, of the first brother. The second one likely will take the stand tomorrow, but that is not a certainty. Right. Okay, Mike, thank you.